Well, hey YouTube, you haven't seen me in some time now, but um, I'm posting a new video. It's about my random generator, the noise generator. Um, I had this uh, magazine which uh, proposed certain tests, statistical tests on the random data, which uh, I performed, like it's the frequency test, monobit test, serial test, gap test, and a few other tests which can give you a clue about the quality of random data. And I realized that my uh, random device wasn't, well, it wasn't very, not as strong as I expected it to be. It wasn't really unusable, it wasn't really a fraud, but 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 it wasn't as strong as I wished it to be. So what I did now, I changed uh, the whole firmware of the device, and I introduced uh, an SHA algorithm, hash algorithm, to use on the random data. I mean, I collect uh, the entropy. And then I used this uh, uh, cryptographical hash algorithm on this entropy I collect on the device, and that is this is what I actually sent to the PC. And doing this uh, will really help me to start things off. Right, it's getting better. Well, almost all the tests are passed now. Almost. You probably won't pass every test, but if you have enough, well, random data. I'm just testing with about 300 kilo, so this isn't the world, you know. But I suppose it's getting better, and this is due to the hash algorithm I implemented. Well, I didn't implement the algorithm itself, but uh, used some code from the internet to do that, but um, I had to change uh, certain things like I'm using the handshake lines now and yeah, it took me the whole night to really implement this because it's an interrupt, interrupt based uh, model now and when you program with interrupts you always have to think things through, uh, through in order to really get a, a result that is reliable. So, well, I think this is, well, by now, my random generator is it's quite, quite a neat piece of hardware. And, well, as you can see, I'm working on the quality of this thing, so it could be used for cryptographical applications. That's what I intended it to be. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll even install a bootloader once so you can update the whole device directly through the USB and the PC client. Because now, right now, you have to use a programmer like the SDK to, to actually flash the firmware. Uh, yeah, well, that's, this isn't <laughs> uh, well, the, the most convenient way to do it for a user, but. I think by now I'm the only person who, who actually has ha this uh, random generator, so it isn't that bad. Well, oh, I sound tired and I am tired, and well, I say thanks for watching and see you soon.